What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video. And today, it is time that we look at the 2024 presidential election map. And it's time we answer, how will each state trend in the 2024 presidential cycle? Now, when I mean trend, I mean how will the state shift compared to the national environment? For example, let's say the national environment swings three points Republican. And let's say the state of, I don't know, West Virginia swings a point Democrat or two points Republican. Well, in that scenario, it trended one point Democrat because it shifted left compared to how the national environment trended or shifted. You get the point. Because I want to start looking at this more and more as we get closer to the 2024 presidential cycle. And this is with the caveat that Donald Trump versus Joe Biden is the scenario. So that's the quick disclaimer. And again, things could absolutely change. We may get new polling data from Texas that may show something otherwise. But uh, yeah. Now before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do. Smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. Guys, go follow Real American Politics on Twitter. It is a great Twitter account everyone should follow. Of course, follow the Rumble page for exclusive content. And of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for $3 a month, you can join Real American, which is a phenomenal deal as it helps support the daily content we all know and love. You love the daily content? Well, this is the best way to support it. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right, everybody. So again, this is as of now and things could absolutely change. And we are expecting the national environment to be like Biden plus two. So that would theoretically mean like a two point shift to the right from 2020 that's basically what the polling is saying in fact i'm actually being a bit generous to biden as of now and again this could absolutely change this isn't final and when i say trend i mean compared to the national environment so just because a state may trend blue doesn't mean it shift the democrat and this is just one election cycle this isn't long term this is just 2024 so let's get into it, and let us start with the great state of Alaska. I do think it will trend Democrat compared to the national environment. It has been slowly shifting Democrat over the past couple of years, and I do think especially with the ranked choice voting garbage they got in Alaska, it may inflate the margins for Democrats. Now, unless Republicans repeal the ranked choice voting, it's probably going to trend Democrat as of 2024. Now, long term, I don't know how much closer we'll get, but Alaska is a very unique state politically. Now we got the state of Hawaii, which unironically is one of Trump's strongest states compared to other Republicans. This is bizarre, but I do think Hawaii will trend Republican compared to the national environment. I mean, it shifted like, what, seven points Republican in 2020? I mean, this is a state that, you know, it has been Democrat for many years, and it seemed like the only Republican that does somewhat good in Hawaii is Trump, which is shocking, but go look at the data. And again, I know it was inflated because Obama was supposedly from Hawaii. I understand that, but still, I do think that Trump is a good, somehow a good fit for Hawaii based on the shifts we saw in 2020. And 2022, it did shift a bit Democrat, but I do think Trump on the ballot would actually help Republicans, you know, in Hawaii. It doesn't mean it's going to trend Republican and turn into a stronghold. I just think Trump will do better in Hawaii compared to the rest of the nation. Now, Washington. This one, I think, is very close, but I do think it slightly does trend a bit Democrat. You know, this doesn't mean it's going to trend like 15 points Democrat. It just probably means it may shift Republican, but I don't think it's be that big of a shift 
compared to other states. Same thing with Oregon. You know, as these the Seattle and Portland suburbs continue to shift the way they're shifting, barring, you know, what we saw in southern Florida happen in downtown Seattle and Portland, these states are probably going to trend blue by a couple points. Now, the one state of the West Coast that may have some hope for Republicans in the future, at least down ballot, is the state of California. This is a state that shift the Republican by quite a bit in 2020 and 2022, it was a red tsunami in some places in the state. Now I understand this is because of lower Hispanic turnout and higher white turnout. I understand that. However, Hispanics, especially Mexicans, they are shifting Republican. Now Mexican Americans aren't shifting as Republican as say Cubans or Venezuelans, but you know, they're still shifting quite a bit Republican. And I do think you will see California have a substantial trend to the right. And that's not mentioning even Asian voters. And Trump, we've seen every polling. He does great with Asian Hispanics compared to like DeSantis, who does slightly better white voters, which is ironic, but does be- but does w- way worse with minority voters. And I think that's going to help Donald Trump in the state of California. Now we got our first real swing state in the state of Nevada. And I do think with the trends we're seeing in Nevada, it is such a slow trend. It's painful, but it has trended every single election cycle going back to 2008. Every single time it's trended Republican. And when you look at some point, the, the swings in Las Vegas are going to catch up the Democrats. They just are. You can't lose 3% of your support every single year in a county that has like 70% of the population. You just can't. And I think Nevada, it may not, I think it does eventually flip Republican. It may not in 2024. I think it right now is likely, or I just say it's kind of seeming like it's going to flip, but I think it will trend Republican probably like a three-point shift to the right, while the environment shift to two points, that is a one-point trend. So I think Nevada will trend a bit Republican. Now, Idaho, you're having a lot of Democrats and people from, from like Portland, Seattle, flooding the state. And it seems like they're not the ones that are Republicans. There are some data points that indicate these voters are a bit more Democrat. You look at what's happening in Boise. I mean, it used to be a Republican city. Now it's pride flags all over the place. It's it just nuts what's happening in Idaho. This doesn't mean it's going to be a stronghold for Democrats. That's just a cope. But I think Idaho will trend a bit Democrat compared to the national environment. Um, Montana, I think with Tester on the ballot, Trump may do slightly worse. You know, it's not like, you know, he's going to do 15 points worse, but... I think with there being a fairly popular senator on the ticket in a state like Montana where it usually trends all over the place, one cycle trends Republican, the next it trends Democrat, vice versa, I think it will shift trend Democrat compared to the environment. Similar deal with the rest of these uh, smaller states, Wyoming, the Dakotas, Utah. I absolutely think Utah will trend Democrat. Yes, Trump did rebound in the state a little bit in 2020, but that was because you didn't have a Mormon candidate on the ticket. And we're seeing what's happening to Utah. I mean, Mike Lee only got 54% of the vote here. If there's a state that Republicans may be worried about in the future, it's probably Utah. So much for the most conservative voting bloc in the country. Bunch of baloney. Similar deal to Colorado, that state's gone. Don't even try to put any money into it. Um, Arizona, again, of the Sun Belt states that are starting to become more competitive, I'm not having much faith in the state as of now. Trump could theoretically win it. I'm not denying it, but I do think Arizona will trend slightly Democrat. I mean, it may even shift Democrat, which if it does, it's, it's probably Jover in the state of Arizona. Now, New Mexico, I think, you know, it's going to trend like a point Republican. I really do think you're going to see a shift in 
the state of New Mexico. You do have a heavy Hispanic population. Ronchetti did pretty good in 2020 and 2022. And Trump, uh, based on the approval ratings, Biden's not liking the state at all. It's like one of those Sunbelt states where it's one of the lowest in the country. It's like, Joe, what did you do? Plus, if Trump hammers the issue of energy, that could absolutely help him in the state of New Mexico. That doesn't mean it's going to become a Republican stronghold. It just means that I think it is probably going to trend Republican by a point or so. Now, Nebraska, I think Nebraska second obviously trends Democrat. Nebraska first, similar deal. I think Nebraska large also trends a bit Democrat, and so does Nebraska third. I think the entirety of the state will trend Democrat. This may be the cycle Don Bacon gets taken out in Nebraska second, but I do think there is some hope. Like, Republicans, I don't think, will lose Nebraska first. I think that may be a stretch. Either way, I think Nebraska, everything will trend Democrat comparatively. Kansas, similar deal. The GOP there is just incompetent. They think Youngkin's an extremist. I, I mean, how pathetic can you be to think Youngkin of old people is a extremist? Now we got Oklahoma, and there was a referendum here a couple months ago when it came to weed, and it failed miserably, even in Oklahoma City. Now with that being said, I do think Trump may struggle a little bit around the Oklahoma City area. I think he may shift the state a point Republican, but I do think, you know, it's not as much as the national environment, which we established was two-point shift to the right. So it may shift Republican, but it's probably going to trend Democrat by a point. Though, again, this doesn't mean it's going to become a Democrat stronghold. I just think that, you know, Democrats will do slightly better in the Oklahoma City area. And probably Tulsa, maybe a point or two better there. But as of now, I think Democrats, though, I don't know where you do much better in the state of Oklahoma. But I do think it is going to look Democrat- for trending wise. Now we get to the hot take of all hot takes. I vehemently believe the state of Texas, it's probably going to shift a point or two Republican in 2024. I really do think that's the bare minimum. Ray Abbott did good. Ken Paxton, everybody in the state of Texas in 2022 did good. Plus Trump did all right in the state in 2020. He did. Not the best, but he did all right enough. And I do think it's going to shift a point or two Democrat or Republican. But when you do the math, I think it's going to shift slightly or trend Democrat slightly compared to the country. Like, by a quarter of a point, I do think the state will trend Republican. I should say Democrat. But I think the trends are starting to kind of teeter off a little bit in the state of Texas, but I do think you will see the state just slightly trend Democrat, not by much. It's going to be basically no difference, but we just got to see for the future. Now we got the, some of these Southern states. I think Arkansas will continue its bizarre trend to the right. I mean, it's been shifting more and more Republican. It's like, when is it ever going to stop? I mean, in 2022, Republicans did great in the more black parts of the state. It's just a matter of time. When will it stop? At some point, it just needs to stop, but there's no signs of that happening. I do think Republicans also, especially with Trump, do a bit better in Tennessee, do a bit better in the state of Alabama, and also I think in the state of South Carolina. I think those four states will trend Republican comparatively in these Southern states. Now I do think Mississippi and Louisiana will probably trend slightly to the left. Again, nothing major, but I do think the states it's, they're so inelastic. They may trend like a half point Democrat just because they don't shift compared to like Arkansas. So I think those two states do trend to the left a little bit. Georgia it's not going to trend as much as many people thought it would, but I do think it will slightly trend Democrat in 2024. That doesn't mean Republicans can't win the state. 
I think Trump's in a decent spot. There seems to be some hope left in the state of Georgia, just a little bit. And if Brian Kemp plays his cards correctly, there may be a chance for Republicans to pick up some serious steam, maybe reverse some trends in the Atlanta area, not reverse all of them. But I do think in 2024, you will start to see a slight slowdown on some of the trends. Florida, I don't even want to, <laughs> I'm not even playing around with that. And similar deal in North Carolina. I mean, Ted Budd won by three points in spite of a Trump plus one electorate. And it seems like Republicans, they're eviscerating the Democratic Party of North Carolina. So I think it does sh trend Republican. Again, it's like Nevada. It's been trending every single cycle since 2008. Every single time. And I do think the state of North Carolina will trend Republican in 2024. Now, Missouri, I think it does trend a bit Republican. You know, this is a state that very similar to like Ohio. It is a Rust Belt state. It is a state with a big blue collar population. And there still are quite a bit of Democrats that still do vote Democrat. With, or, with that being said, however, you still got the St. Louis area. And I do think it will shift. I'm a Democrat. I got you there. I got you there. But I do think it will slightly trend Democrat. Not by much. But it probably does trend Democrat by, you know, a quarter of a point. It's not going to be much. It's not going to indicate Missouri can actually flip in the future like some people claim. Plus, you do got Kansas City, which is becoming a problem for Republicans, though more so in Kansas. I think Missouri does trend slightly Democrat. Kentucky, I do think actually Republicans do a little bit better there. The problem with Democrats in Kentucky is, I mean, outside of Louisville, where are you going to find more votes at? It just, it's looking very inelastic and I do think it will actually shift a couple points Republican in 2024. And I think it's kind of the reverse of Missouri. It trends like a quarter point Republican instead of like a quarter point Democrat. And same thing with West Virginia, you know, actually with West Virginia, it probably will trend a couple points Democrat, especially with somebody like Biden on the ballot for some reason. He did decent in the state last time, which I don't know why, but he just did okay enough in the state where it wasn't, you know, a 50 point blowout or something crazy like that. It was still a blowout, but not like Clinton got. So I think West Virginia, you may see a slight trend to the left just because it's so Republican and Biden did okay in the state in 2020. And it just seems like the state is losing a lot of people. And you may see this effect, you know, they may be all moving like Florida and stuff. And this may cause, you know, a lot of Republicans may be moving. We just got to see, but I think it may shift slightly to the left in 2024. Also, you got the, uh, the West Virginia Senate race, which could inflate the margin a little bit. Manchin may help Biden a little bit in the state. So you got to factor that in as well. Now, I think Virginia, on the other hand, you know, I think it's going to trend to point Republican. It's going to be like a six, seven point victory for Biden in the state compared to like, what, a 10 point victory in 2020. I think you will see it. It seems Republicans have gotten their act together in the state of Virginia. And it seems like they're poised to finally make some kind of comeback. Now, again, this doesn't mean it's become a Republican state again or even a toss up, but I do think you will see the state trend Republican, even ever so slightly in 2024. Now, as for the Rust Belt, I think Iowa and Ohio, they're no brainers. Indiana, I do think there are a lot of votes again in the Gary area. You know, Gary, Indiana, that's kind of a meme, but I think there are some votes again there. The problem is you still got Indianapolis, which is trending to the left. So I do think of the Rust Belt states, this may be the one state that has quite possibly the largest trend to the left, just for the fact there are a lot of votes, especially in the Indianapolis area. And I do think, though, that may hurt Trump a little bit, but it's not going to cause a state to flip. That's just stupid to think that. 
Illinois, I think, actually trends Republican. It did in 2020. It did in 2022. And without Obama on the ticket, and plus Biden's not liked in the state, plus you are seeing significant trends in inner city Chicago, I, I do think you will see the state take a trend to the right. Not by much, but I think it does trend to the right. Wisconsin, I, I absolutely believe it. It will have a trend to the right. It's not going to be as much as we thought, but I do think Trump is the strongest candidate in Wisconsin. And with Biden being hated here, I mean, the approval rating was like 38% or something crazy. That ain't going to bode well. And there are a unique voter of Trump that doesn't vote in midterms. And Ron Johnson still won. In fact, did better than Trump in the Trump parts of the state, in spite of turnout being bad. I think you will see a trend to the right for Republicans in the state. Now, Minnesota, another state that I do think that it's there are areas where it could trend Republican, but for now, I think Minnesota will be a slight trend to the left. And same thing for Michigan. The Michigan GOP is a mess, but the only thing that may save it is Trump. Trump is a strong candidate in Michigan. There's a reason he flipped into 2016. Yes, Biden did okay in the state in 2020, but that's because he had a unique appeal in the state. There are a lot of workers that had their jobs saved because of Biden with the bailouts. Outside of that, though, I do think with the Michigan GOP being a mess, it will probably trend a Democrat, but it may shift Republican. So that's not like saying it's going to flip Republican or it's safe Democrat forever. Same thing with Pennsylvania. Like, I think Trump could win the state in 2024, but I think as a whole, it will probably trend slightly to the left. Now we get to the part of the country that I don't think anybody expected what we saw in 2022. Nobody. Now, let me be clear. D.C. and Maryland only trend Republican just because how Democrat they are. Plus, in Maryland... Where else are Republicans going to, you know, gain votes uh, or lose votes? It's only Republicans can gain, especially in the Baltimore area. And I think Trump may do a little bit better in the D.C. suburbs. Just a little bit, but just enough to make the state trend a bit Republican. I think Delaware, it may just trend Democrat by like a point just because Biden is from the state of Delaware. Before Biden... <clears throat> Trump actually did good in the state in 2016. And I do think when Biden gets off the ticket, you know, in 2028, you may see a trend to the right, but it is a state that has Biden on the ticket. He did great in 2020. And I think, you know, it may shift the point in Republican, but compared to the environment, I could see a trending Democrat. I think New Jersey probably will trend to the right. We saw what happened in 2021. And in 2022. And we are seeing the behemoth of New York City. Which New Jersey has some suburbs of New York City in it. And even they shift to Republican. But this isn't a, in comparison. This is paling to what's happening in New York. I cannot believe I'm saying this. But I believe as of now. If the election was held today. The most Republican trending state in the country will be in New York. I think it's going to trend like six points to the right. It could change. I'm not saying it's 100%. But as of now, based on all the data we're seeing, this could be the one state that has such a large shift to the right that nobody saw it coming. Though I think you will probably, some people are kind of expecting it to trend Republican in 2024. But I do think it's going to be by a lot. Because when you start looking at some of the data, in the state of New York, it's starting to really realize that the Zeldin effect, it may not just be Zeldin. It may not just be him doing a lot of the heavy lifting. So I think you will see a substantial, like a five, six point trend in the state of New York or four, five point, something like that. But I do think it will be within 20 points. It could change, yes, but everything we're seeing, the voter registration, everything, it's indicating the Zeldin stuff wasn't just a fluke. I also do think you will see Trump doing a bit better in a state like Connecticut. 
and Rhode Island. As for the rest of it, maybe Massachusetts, just because Boston is so Democrat that's like, where are Democrats going to find votes here, especially in 2024? Turnout could change, but I think Massachusetts will have a trend to the right. Uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, they're probably both going to trend Democrat, especially New Hampshire. Uh, Vermont maybe could trend to the right because of how Democrat it is, but I think it will trend Democrat just because there are a lot of people from Boston flooding the state, and they're not necessarily the conservative types. They're somehow even more Democrats, so I think Vermont may see a trend to the left, but it could max out in 2024. <clears throat> we just got to see. Uh, Maine first, I think, will trend to the left just by a point or so. Maine second, on the other hand, I do think Trump, he has an appeal in the state, especially in that part of the state. I think it will trend Republican. And I think the state as a whole does trend to the right, not by much. It's not going to flip it. But I do think you will see Trump do slightly better, though there could be concerns about a lot of the voters moving there, which now that I think about it, yeah, it probably will trend as a Democrat as a whole, but I think you will see Trump do a bit better in Maine second. And this, folks, is kind of the current state of the trend map. Again, trend isn't the same thing as swing. That means if a state trends one point to the right, it just means it voted one point right compared to the rest of the nation. So this could absolutely change. But as of now, I think you see Trump do a Bit better in Wisconsin, bit better in Iowa, bit better in Ohio, North Carolina, New York, California being the two surprises. And some of these northeastern states like Maryland, you can make the argument about, though I doubt, you know, it's really much more Democrat. Massachusetts, same deal, but we just got to see. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, once again, this is just for 2024, and it could absolutely change. Who knows? Maybe the environment shifts a point Democrat. Maybe there's more states trending right. It's just a matter of, you know, what happens. And again, a state like Massachusetts, the only reason that would trend Republican is because of how Democrat it is so far, that if it shifts two points to the right, or three points, it's probably very likely, because it's like, what, 70% Democrat? But we just gotta see. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Godspeed to all of you.